okay guys welcome back to the channel so in this episode I want to show you how to wire your FPV DJI FPV air unit to your flight controller right here okay so let's kind of go through that together in the in the box it came with a harness that you can see right here okay so the harness is basically this will connect it to the back of the unit of the air unit as you can see here okay that will go in there but on the on the loose end over here you see there's color-coded uh, wires so we're gonna connect that to our flight controller so that we can first we can power the unit and we get the image from the camera Second, we have other wires that we can use for OSD um, and, and the flight control. I mean, I'm sorry, for the OSD and also for the transmitter. So because this little unit, the air, the DJI air system here has the video transmitter and also the RC control um, in there as well. So let's do that together. Okay, so first off, the black and red okay black and red right here right so black and red is basically you know that is its power now the power rating for this little air unit is rated 7.4 to 17 volts so what that means is there's some pad on here um that are five volts and negative it won't work with the 5 volt pads you have to look for something that can do more than 5 volt because the minimum requirement voltage for this is 7.4 so what I'm gonna plan to do here is on this board what you see there's there's a bad terminal here basically this is the same voltage that you connect to the battery so I'm, I'm gonna be flying this quad in 4S, so it should cover the 14 volts, I mean the uh, 17 volts, so that should be good there. So, but it's a little bit more than five volts, so I'm in the range to use that pad. So let's uh, tin this up and I come back for that. All right, so I just um, connected the positive and the black wire to the uh, positive negative power there so the next step we want to connect is the osd um it can use some of the osd um to show up on the goggles um, at this point it's just the minimum osd information but we can still use that if, once dji update firmware and get more information integration to beta flight we can get more from that particular wire so as you can see here the uh, white wire it has to you just select one of the tx and the rx uh, pair on your flight controller so in my case i'm going to go ahead and uh, use the tx3 and the rx3 so that's where I'm going to connect the white wire and the gray wire. And the boat has to go. So the white will have to go to the uh, the RX. Uh, I'm sorry. The white has to go to the TX on the flight controller. And the gray has to go to the RX on the flight controller. So let's do that. I already tinned it already right here. So you know. So let's me uh, solder that in. I'll come back. All right. So now, as you can see, the I got the white to the TX and the gray wire connecting to the RX. In this case, I'm using TX3 and RX3. Then the next thing is the we have two more wire. We have the uh, brown and we have the yellow. So. For this uh, yellow, right now connecting to the S-Bus pad. So when the new beta flight 
support the DI HDL protocol, you can go back within a uh, data flight configurator. You can change from an SBUS to an HDL protocol, and that will allow this talk in that protocol. And the reason why that new protocol support you know, that's uh, in the new beta fly is that it gives you low latency. So with the SBUS, it could go up and down latency. So it's not a reliable protocol, but um, <clears throat> but with this is what DJI claimed that with the HDL that they come up with a new protocol for beta fly, it's supposed to give that you know low latency that they designed this box for or this systems for so we'll see that and i will test that when that become available and go from there all right so now everything is all wired so i got the s bus i got the signal ground okay um i got the positive negative i got the OSD TX RX connected so everything all set so now I have to do now is to connect this harness to the back of the box right here right so I just connect that to the back of the box and it should work from here on right let's clip in I'll just have to clean this up. I'll just want to see if it works first. So let's uh, let's power up and see what happens. Okay, now that we connect everything for the unit, the next thing we want to do is to connect the battery and see if we get an image through the goggles. Okay, so that's the next try. In, but you can see it is there. So if you like the channel, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.